Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lizelle. So as you guys can see, I am already showered, kind of half ready for my day. I wanted to wash my hair this morning, so I did that. Had a nice hot shower as well, which felt really good because it is starting to get a little bit more chilly here as the days go by. But I just finished putting together some breakfast for myself. I have a blueberry bagel which these are the blueberry bagels that I bought from Costco when I went there with my brother the other day. They're actually really good, you guys. I feel like bagels that I've had in the past are kind of tough and hard and like really chewy. I don't know if that's how they're meant to be, but the bagels from Costco are like nice and fluffy. They're not like super, super soft. I mean, they're a lot more soft than other bagels that I've had in the past, even like Starbucks bagels and whatnot. But I don't feel like I'm like growing my jaw muscles when I'm chewing it. Because sometimes when I've had bagels in the past, I'm like, damn, this is really tough and chewy. These ones are really nice and soft. So yeah, a blueberry bagel with cream cheese. And then I also just made myself a flat white. So yeah, right now I'm gonna have my breakfast. Today's plan is to actually record an episode for the one day podcast with my fiance alan today is actually thursday the 29th of april how many days are there in april okay 30 days 30 days yeah 30 days so tomorrow is the last day of april usually we try and record the next week's episode like at the beginning of the week if that makes sense it's thursday today so we're a little bit like behind schedule but i should be fine to get it all edited and uploaded by next tuesday so yeah i thought i would check in with you guys because i will be vlogging today kind of showing you like the behind the scenes of what goes into recording episodes for our podcast but for the time being I'm gonna have my breakfast and I will check in with you guys later. As you guys can see, I am back, did my hair, makeup, put on a cute top and I'm wearing sweatpants because that's how we do it around here. We only get ready on the top half. Specifically when I know I'm gonna be filming something, I really only need to look like presentable from here up. But um, yeah, I just finished putting together my whole little setup for when we record podcasts. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. So yeah, this is basically it. You guys already know all about my cute little cozy corner, which I talk about all the time, how much I love it to be honest the whole reason why i wanted this chair from my room was because a long time ago when we knew that we were going to be starting up a podcast together i wanted to like have it be a little more like chilled laid back and kind of relaxed so i wanted to have an armchair which is primarily the reason why i got this chair from my room but yeah this is the setup i have this little like what do you call this it's like a like a side table but it's meant to be for one of those things that you have like at the couch to uh eat dinner at or you know have your laptop on or whatever while you're sitting down on your couch but i just like to use it for when i'm like doing work on my laptop editing and of course filming these podcasts so yeah i just have that and i have that propped up on a box with my laptop stand and then of course my laptop and then of course we have the headphones that I use and then this right here ignore all the cords in the back by the way but this is the little boom arm mic setup type thing so yeah and then of course we have the ring light as well I do get pretty good natural lighting in here as it is but just for a little bit of extra lighting because it does tend to fade in and out and change throughout the time that we film I just figured that it would be a good idea to make use of my ring light so yeah, that is how my setup looks. And then typically I'm just sitting here like this and we talk. So that is how I set everything up for the podcast. I might do like a more permanent setup in my office. I need to just kind of reconfigure and move things around in there because I haven't been doing much work in there at the moment but now that it's getting a little bit cooler over here and that room actually feels nice to sit in because it does get very warm in that room which is the whole reason why I feel like during the summer months I typically don't spend as much time in there is because that room is on the side of the house where the sun hits hardest and it gets very very hot in there and I don't have AC in that room so I feel like during the hotter months like the more warmer months I spend a lot more time either here in my room or downstairs in the living room doing my work there. I don't typically go in my office as much, which kind of bums me out because obviously I do want to use that space. But I think now that things are cooling down over here 
and it actually feels nice to sit in there because it is nice and warm. I just may have to reconfigure things so that I can have a more permanent setup for the whole podcast situation. But I do like having it in this space. I don't mind setting it up. It really doesn't take that long at all. And it's pretty easy to like put together and take down. So yeah, whatever works for me for now, this is working, but I might figure something out in the future. But yeah, like I said, I'm ready to start filming this episode. Typically we try and make it so that the episodes are only an hour, but you guys, we talk too much sometimes. So I don't know, we'll see how long this episode goes for. It's currently at 10.30 in the morning, so I will check back in with you guys later and let you know how everything goes. All right, you guys, as you can see, I am here in my little cozy corner, just finished filming. It sounds so weird saying filming, I mean recording an episode for our podcast. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna leave like the links for it all down below. But yeah, my fiance Alan and I started a podcast. I think this is our fifth episode and we just finished recording our episode for today, which let me show you guys. You guys won't be able to hear him, but just wave hi, my love. <laughs> yeah. So we just finished filming our episode or recording our episode. If you guys didn't know, we do have a joint channel together, youtube.com slash LizelleXAllen, where we do upload content. Previously, we were uploading like long distance relationship content, kind of just like keeping our story like for ourselves, like putting up memories and whatnot. But because we haven't seen each other for a year, it's been a little bit difficult to do so. And we came up with the idea that we wanted to start a podcast. So that's exactly what we did. So on there, we just talk about life, love and relationships. And we always relate it back to regular relationships as well. It's not just for long distance relationships. But today's episode was solely focused on our long distance relationship couples out there because yeah, I've noticed I've been getting a fair few messages lately from people just kind of asking like how do I manage to be in a long distance relationship and stay happy? So I think today's episode is going to be something along the lines of like the benefits of being in a long distance relationship because they do tend to get a bad rep. Like they do tend to have this kind of negative connotation put towards them. So we're kind of here to show you guys that they're not all that bad. But um, yeah, I just finished recording this episode. So I'm going to get ready now. I think I want to go out and get some ramen. That is my treat for today. It is currently 12.30. So I'm going to get ready now. Probably head out soon and I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, you guys, I just put some pants on. I was wearing sweatpants before. Not that I wasn't wearing pants. I just put jeans on. So this is today's... OOTD. It kind of looks like it's going to rain later on. We shall see. But this top is from Cotton On, I think. It kind of zips up like, if I can show you guys, it can zip like all the way up. Well, maybe I should wear it like that. Yeah, it zips all the way up. Actually, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I'm not going to wear it like that. But, um, but yes, it zips all the way up like that. But I just kind of like to wear it like, like so. Um, and then the jeans are from Fashion Nova. I think these are their mom jeans. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these again. My New Balance 327s. I've really been liking these. They're so comfortable and just like, I don't know. You guys already know the neutral colors. That's me in a shoe. But um, yeah, I'm going to head out now to go and get myself some ramen only because that's what i've really been craving for the past few days i actually have only been to this ramen place once i can't remember what the name is i'll try and vlog it for you guys but i went there a few weeks ago with my brother for the first time and their ramen mm, delicious it was really good so i want to go back there again today just gonna go on a little solo ramen date because it is important to take yourself out for dates as well i have learned over the years that as much love as we give to other people, we should be giving that love to ourselves as well. So as much as I would love to take my man out on a ramen date, and I can't right now because we are in a long distance relationship and he doesn't live here, I can use that energy to take myself out for dates. So yeah, that is what the plan is for now. Take myself out on a ramen date and then we shall see what happens from there. But I feel really good because I got what I needed to get done today done. And then for the rest of the day, I can just chill out. So yeah, I'm going to go get myself some lunch. Might come home afterwards and do a little bit of editing. But for now, we got to go eat. Yeah, you, you always make me feel like oh yeah, you, you never leave my thoughts alone. Yeah, you, 
You're the reason I'm going out of my mind I just can't stop thinking about you I'm currently just boiling some water and yes, I did just get home from my little solo ramen date Ramen was really good that place. I think it was called ramen dumbo They have like a couple of different Franchises around Brisbane, I think and the ramen is really good. It's really tasty Perfect portion. I feel like it's just enough. I didn't have to order like extra noodles Which I usually do but their portion sizes were really good. So yeah, the ramen was really good very tasty, but I just got home, it's currently just after 4.30. I feel like I say this every single vlog, but the sun goes down so early now. Like I can't believe that the sun is going down at like 4 p.m. It's like already dark outside. I mean, not already dark. It feels like it should be 6 p.m., but it's only 4.30. But anyways, yeah, I was feeling kind of like lethargic. I don't know if I'm having like food coma <laughs> after having my bowl of ramen, but I really wanted to get myself a drink, but I just figured like I could just make myself something at home rather than going out. So I came home and I'm going to make myself a matcha, iced matcha that is, which I'm still kind of trying to tweak and perfect my little matcha recipe because I don't know, I just feel like yeah, I've said this before in a previous vlog, I think. Starbucks matcha, like their matcha lattes and matcha frappes, I think. They're so good. They taste so nice, but they're full of sugar. So I'm trying to come up with something that is just as like tasty, but not full of the same type of stuff that those are full of. So let me show you guys like what I've been working with so far to try and get this to taste good. So this is the matcha that I have been using, the Nature's Way of Matcha Green Tea High Nutrient Superfood Powder. I'm probably going to get something else after I'm done with using this. This is just like what I picked up from my grocery store, that's what they had. And yeah, I think I can find something that is probably better value for money because I think this is about like $13 and it comes with 50 grams of product, but I've seen other things that come with a lot more for that price but anyways um yeah it's just standard matcha powder tastes like matcha straight matcha and then i also like to go in with a teaspoon or less of the natvia natural sweetener obviously as my sugar and then for a little bit of extra like flavor i've been trying to use the gloria jeans sugar-free vanilla flavored syrup which i think I tried to do like two teaspoons, but that's like way too much for me. It's just too overpowering. So just one teaspoon of this. So basically like a teaspoon of each, but like a low teaspoon, a heaped teaspoon, and then like a level teaspoon, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it and I will show you guys through my B-roll. So there we have you guys that is my current matcha latte recipe perhaps that will change if you guys have any suggestions for me of anything that i can add to it or do differently to make it taste good if you have any matcha latte recipes please let me know but for the time being like i kind of like how it tastes i think it could be better i just haven't figured out like what I could add to it to make it taste better but for the time being it's really tasty i really like it and it looks pretty cool as well Mm, it's like sweet but matcha. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I really wanted to get myself a coffee But since it was already like late in the afternoon I just know that's not gonna be good for me later on this evening when I'm trying to sleep My sleeping pattern has been a little bit whack for the past couple of days, but I am trying to get it back into order so 
I know that matcha obviously is like a source of caffeine as well but from the research that I've done on it, the crash isn't as dramatic. That's why I don't mind having it in the afternoons. But um, yeah, that is my current little iced matcha latte recipe. But for the time being, um, I think I need to clean my room because honestly, every time I do any kind of content, whether it be podcast, filming, whatever, it tends to get a little bit messy. So I need to go and tidy that, I have some laundry to fold, and I'm probably gonna get started with some editing at some point as well if I have enough time but one thing I do really need to do this evening is actually paint my nails I think this is the longest that I've gone without having my nails done my nails have broke like they're just all over the place they're like so short which is the shortest I've seen them for a while I feel like it makes my hands look really different but yeah I really need to paint my nails this evening so hopefully I can get that done as well but yeah I'm gonna take this upstairs now get started with a bit of cleaning because in order to clear my mind I need to clear my space. So it's quite some time later. I totally forgot to pick up the camera, but it's now just after 8 p.m. I pretty much spent my evening cleaning, tidying, folding and putting away laundry, all that kind of thing. But now I am currently just set up here on my bed because I'm finally gonna give myself a manicure. I feel like this is like a week overdue. I think I haven't had anything on my nails for over a week. And if you know me, usually I always like to have something on my nails. I feel like I prefer to have my nails done because it protects them in a way if I don't they break really easily so um yeah I have my little setup here going on I use this little folding like food tray table type thing from Ikea this is what I like to use when I do my nails because trust me it takes a while and I feel like I just want to be comfy sometimes I will set myself up like over there on my chair but I haven't put away the equipment that I use to record for podcasting so I decided that I was just gonna set myself up here on my bed but um yeah I have this little food tray that I actually never use for food it's primarily just for if I want to be on my laptop or yeah if I'm doing my nails and then my little nail station set up so i have a file some cotton swab things obviously the uv gel lamp mine's looking pretty aged i feel like i've had this for like 10 years i don't know it might very well be like 10 years old at this point but it gets the job done works very well and yeah if it's lasted that long it's got to be good so yeah that is from opalac and then i do have a couple of opalac products so this is the color that i'm going to go with today it's like a taupe color as the name suggests over the taupe is that how you say that i think <laughs> but yeah that's going to be my nail color for today it's like a um nude kind of like mauve well i mean taupe obviously because that's what the name says but yes there's that whenever i have my nails short like this i just like to go with a really like nude i mean who are we kidding i go for nudes all the time but you know what i mean i don't want to paint them like white or something that's going to stand out but um yeah that's the color and for the base i use the sally hansen gel polish the base one and then i actually had to repurchase a top coat but sally hansen never has the top coat in stock whenever i go into price lines so i'm going to be using the opalac top coat fingers crossed that it works just as good i'm also just going to give my cuticles a quick little tidy up with this sally hansen problem cuticle remover i have my nail file i think i already showed you guys that this here is actually a oh there it is yep it's a like electric nail file kit sometimes i use that i don't know if i'll use it today but i have it just in case and then of course some nail polish remover or acetone so that is my setup got myself nice and comfy i even have my laptop here currently just watching gossip girl to be honest i don't want to start any new series or whatever and i couldn't pick a movie that i liked so gossip girl it was <laughs> which i have watched multiple times so i don't mind having it on in the background but um yeah i'm gonna get started with painting my nails now this is how they look beforehand what happened was that one of them broke and then yeah, they all kind of just went with it. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Typically this can take me some time, which is why I want to be nice and comfy while I do it. But um, yeah, it's going to take me a minute. So I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm done. I am finally done with my nails. I feel like that took a minute, but I think I watched about like five episodes of Gossip Girl. Okay, maybe not five, maybe four. 
I can't remember, but um, yeah, the nails are done. This is how they turned out. They're so short, you guys. Like, I haven't had my nails this short for a really long time, but luckily for me, my nails grow really quickly. So yeah, maybe I can get used to having short nails for a minute because it has been a while since I have had nails this short. But yeah, that's the color. That's how the color looks on them. And then here is the other hand. So yes, very short, but very practical, of course. But yes, the nails are done. I think now it's after 10. Yeah, it is after 10. Usually I try and do this like earlier on in the evenings, but I just really wanted to get it done today so that I could not have to think about it again. Typically this lasts me like two weeks, so I'm good for the next two weeks. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just quickly take a shower and get myself into bed because it's already 10 o'clock and I have not yet showered. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. It definitely wasn't as eventful as usual, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like it before you leave it. And as I always say, I hope you guys are staying safe, looking after yourselves and looking out for each other. I will talk to you guys in the comments and I shall see you all in my next video.